hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to see animated align animation in flutter so let's start so here i have an app and inside the app i'll take a body and inside the body i'll take a container and let's give it a height and width to it so for the height i will use media query dot of context dot of size dot height like this and for the width i'll take the same of media query dot of context dot size dot width so that it takes in a height and width with respect to our device so now what we can do is i'll take a child and for the child we'll take our let's say um, let's take a animated align widget which is animated oh, align uh, animated like this let's give child like any mated align like this now as you can see here it takes alignment and duration so let's remove it first and now we can see that the animated align takes the parameters duration and alignment is required and it also has different other functions uh, we'll see to it in later so first what we can do is let's change our animated align and for in change anim animated align will give it's a child of let's say a container and will give it a height of let's say height of let's say 20 and also we'll give it a color for colors dot let's say colors dot red like this and now let's just save our app and you can see the error because the alignment and duration value is required so let's give it a value of alignment like this and alignment of alignment dot uh, we can give any alignment that you want so for now i'll give an alignment dot of center or like this or let's give it an alignment of bottom or top center like this okay bottom center and now we'll give it a duration of durations of let's say two seconds like this and now let's save our app and you can see now our container which is aligned at the bottom center here and for the animation we are going to declare a bool variable which is let's say a change and change like this will change it assign it the false value like this and now uh, what you can do is we can give it a background color for our scaffold like this let's say a colors of white and to change we also declare a new bool variable called change color like this change color and we'll also assign it a value of false default value and we can assign it here like this change color if it's true we can change its color to black like this and now what we can do is we need to give the animation or oh, you can see we can wrap our container with a widget which is called as a stack for stack there's a trick we can wrap it with a column and then change the column name to stack like this so now we have a stack and inside our stack we have this our container and now we'll wrap our container with another widget called inkwill so this widget will give a on tap value function so in the on tap function what we can do is we can change our state like this using set state and we can change equal to not change that is we can change our alignment so now let's just click and see what happens if nothing happens because we haven't given our change value to our alignment here so we'll give our change value in our alignment like this so we'll give change if it's true then we'll change its alignment from top to bottom let's say like this if it's true it's the alignment will be at the bottom center and if it's false the alignment should be in the let's say top center like this 
now let's save our app and now you can see the our container is animated towards top center because the value is false now what you can do is we can take another widget in the center like this in our stack called let's say a text and we'll get a message called welcome we'll give it a style of let's say a text style like this mm, text style text like this okay wait okay like this and we'll give it a color of let's say a colors dot red and like this and we'll also give it a font size of let's say 30 or 40 depends on you and we'll also assign a little weight font weight and now we can just save our app or what we can do is we can change the visibility of our this text so we'll assign a new bool variable called bool is visible like this the default value would be false like this and now we can wrap our center text widget with a widget called visibility so like this visibility if you want to know more about visibility i have made a video do check it out and in the is visible property you can give our variable bool variable here okay so what you can do is now there's another function in our animated align which is let's say what you can see here is um we have taken alignment duration and now we can simply uh, give the value to a function called let's say on end function yes there is a function called on end in our animated align so what we can do is see there's a function which is on end here so in the on end function what we can do is we can change our state like this in set state and we'll change the state of our background color and the visibility of our text like this change color equal to not change color and similarly visibility of our is visible is not equal is visible like this now let's just save our app and now when you tap on our screen let's give it a curve value first of curves dot let's say we give it a dx rate something like that it looks cool so now we can save our app and now everything is set okay oh, we can also give a inkwell highlight color let's give it a transparent color here so that we don't see any splashes or splash color is also transparent let's make it transparent like this okay so now what we can do is finally we can check here i tap the values are changed and we can see the animation and the alignment of our container is changed like this so this is how you can use the animated align widget in flutter to change the alignment of your child or container whatever you want and hope you found this video helpful do like share subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video